Hey soldiers, I just sold all of my JP Morgan stock. Now, JP Morgan's never gonna feel that, all right? I'm not even a blip on the radar. No one would characterize me as a major share owner at JP Morgan. I did hold the stock for a long, long time though. And uh, it did well for me. But here lately, I had to make a stand based on principle. I wanna put that out there. This is not a, this is not a uh, financial move I made, it's a principle move that I made. Now I'm going to take those proceeds and keep them going. I'm going to invest them in something else. But I had to get away from JP Morgan for reasons I will elaborate on in just a second. Um, go ahead, hit the thumbs up button. Now everybody watching, just go ahead. It'll take a millisecond. Hit thumbs up. Help me with this algorithm. I want to get this message spread because what I'm going to explain to you, it's probably going to blow your mind. They, and I'm going to tell you exactly who they are. You know, a lot of people say they're doing this, they're doing this. I'm going to tell you who they are. They are really, when they said you will own nothing, okay, they meant it. So we're going to talk about that. So go ahead, hit the thumbs up and then subscribe. If you have not already become a soldier of finance, it's very easy to do. All you got to do is hit subscribe and bam you are enlisted. There's no ASVAB test, okay? There's no uh, physical agility test. All are welcome among the soldiers of finance. Let me know that you became a soldier of finance by subscribing. Let me know in the comments and I will salute you. All right, let's get into it. Look, when I first heard this, I didn't believe it. I had to actually go into the JP Morgan um, website and read the 2022 annual report where this is spelled out and I'll put it up on screen. All right, so JP Morgan, they are suggesting in the guise of uh, one of the most powerful men in America, Jamie Dimon, he's the CEO of JP Morgan, has been for uh, quite some time, like um, 20 years, just over 20 years, I believe. Uh, he came out and said that the government non-governmental organizations and corporations. By the way, that is who they are. Governments, non-governmental organizations, and corporations. Now, what's a non-governmental organization? The World Economic Forum. That's a non-governmental organization. Um, Jamie Dimon, CEO of JP Morgan, is suggesting that governments seize private property to quicken climate initiatives. Now look, Jamie Dimon is not some CEO from China where they really don't have property rights. Okay, J Jamie Dimon is not uh, a CEO from some despotic country. I mean, we're not there yet. Uh, Jamie Dimon is CEO here in America. And right there in the annual report, he says quite plainly, yeah, we need to start taking people's property. Now, I bet you he doesn't mean his property. And I bet you he owns quite a lot. But I bet you he doesn't mean his property. He's talking about our property, okay? In the annual letter to shareholders, J.P. Morgan Chase CEO Jamie Dimon suggested that the U.S. government and climate conscious corporations may have to seize citizens' private property to enact climate initiatives while there is still time to stave off climate disasters. So this is, that whole climate change thing, that ain't about the environment, guys. That is about they actually seizing more property. And why, why would they really need to do that, right? They can just sell more wares, right? Wrong. Uh, one of the things that's happening is we're noticing that as artificial intelligence robotics and technologies uh, like that, that automate processes, as they come in, as they come to the fore, you've got to understand a lot of jobs are going to be lost. And as these jobs are lost, then it just stands to reason that you're not going to have as many people out having the disposable incomes that they have today. So these corporations, they still want to acquire wealth but they're just gonna steal it from you under the guise now of climate change, okay? We gotta have a clean environment, so we're gonna take your little plot of land. 
No, Jamie Dimon gets to keep his six houses. No, 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 no. This is reserved for uh, you, the peasantry, right? Dimon declared that governments, business, this is a quote, quote, governments, businesses, and non-governmental organizations, unquote, that is the nebulous they, all right? Some people say, well, y'all always talking about they. Who's they? That's who they are. Governments, non-governmental organizations, and corporations. The power elite, that's the triad. They may need to invoke, quote, eminent domain, unquote, in order to get the, quote, adequate investments fast enough for grid, solar, wind, and pipeline initiatives, unquote. Notice how he ca uh, characterized that as investments, all right? So he fully acknowledges that it's an asset and it's one that he wants to take, okay? This is unprecedented, but you know what? I'm glad he's out there saying it because if I overheard him say this, let's say I was at a restaurant and he was sitting a table down and I overheard him say this and I came on this channel and I said, look guys, I was just at, you know, Pizza Hut and Jamie Dimon was there and he was talking to this guy and saying that he's going to seize our property. I'd be branded a nut, a conspiracy theorist. So I'm glad this is coming out of the horse's mouth. The man wrote it in the JP Morgan annual report. You can't get any more official than that. And if you don't understand or buy what he's saying, God help you. Now, uh, eminent domain, for those who don't know, it's a legal term that describes the government using its power to expropriate private property for public use, provided the government provides private owners proper compensation. Now, used to be a time in this country where eminent domain was used for government projects, like if they wanted to come through your neighborhood with an extension to a major highway or something like that, or maybe they wanted to build, you know, uh, a school or a prison, it's some public project, okay? And then the municipality would come to you and they'd offer you some money and, you know, you go back and forth and then people leave and then they build whatever it was they wanted to build. That changed. I forget what year it was, but the case was Kilo versus New London. New London, Connecticut. Um, Kilo was a homeowner, property owner up in New London, Connecticut. By the way, New London is um, where the Coast Guard Academy is ho is housed, is uh, based. So, uh, anyway, this was a decision. This case, Kilo versus New London, went all the way to Supreme Court. And the Supreme Court surprised the hell out of everybody when they said, nope, we can let this property go and be sold, not to governments, but to private interest. Okay. They wanted to tear down these folks' homes and the properties that had been in their uh, families for many, many years, decades. And they wanted to replace that with shopping malls and mixed use and all this other stuff. Why? Because the taxes, the local taxes on the private development would equal more than the homeowners were paying. Went all the way to Supreme Court. Supreme Court supported the uh, private owners, okay? Essentially, now some people say, no, Tyrone, the Supreme Court actually supported the municipality in their decision to have, to invoke eminent domain for the private owners. I don't want to hear that. At the end of the day, this was not a school that was being put up. It was a commercial development that would have ended up putting more dollars into the city, okay, of New London. And too bad, New London. Think of another way to make some revenue besides stealing people's property. That occurred in 2005, okay, just to um, circle back. So the precedent is there. It went to the Supreme Court. Corporations now, all they got to do is come to your municipality or your state and say, hey, uh, state representative, State Senator, Governor, remember that campaign contribution that my company gave you, you know, before the election? Well, Tyrone, Q 
Keys. Some little guy with a YouTube channel. He's got a piece of land and we need it for climate change. Mind you, the thing with New London, even after they seized those people's homes, that development never went up. Okay, so it was all for dark. But they seized those folks' homes and they did it capricious, capriciously, unapologetically. All right, so the precedent is there. They come to me, say we want it. Bill Gates comes to me and say, I want, I want to put a, I want to put two solar panels on your patch of land. And so I need it. I'm bigger than you financially, influence wise. I'm taking it. And our government at every level, county, state, federal, will support that. All right. In his letter, which touted the successes of the financial services company, J.P. Morgan, in 2022, as well as providing shareholders a vision for its future, Diamond made the case that it might be time to justify eminent domain in America to ease the climate crisis. According to the CEO, such drastic measures may be employed because time is short. Yeah, the earth's been ending. They sound like uh, dime store preachers, okay? who have been saying the world's going to end for decade upon decade. Okay. And they always end up having to push it out. All right. Um, the window for action to avert, this is a quote by diamond, the window for action to avert the costliest impacts of global climate change is closing. Unquote. He said, along with mentioning his concern that the quote ongoing war in Ukraine is rolling is roiling trade relations across Europe and Asia and redefining the way countries and companies plan for energy security. The need to provide energy affordably and reliably for today, as well as make the necessary investments to decarbonize for tomorrow, underscores the inextricable links between economic growth, energy security, and climate change. We need to do more, and we need to do so immediately. If it's such an immediate concern, Jamie Dimon, why don't you sell the private jet? Why don't you sell the fleet that your company owns? Okay. Why don't you let more of your employees work from home? That way you all won't need to have such uh, an expansive footprint. At one point there was a Chase Bank on every corner. Put some solar turtles down, put some solar panels up, right? No, because again, they're not concerned with the environment, certainly not concerned about you. They're concerned with their profits. This is why I sold my stock. Yes, I want a profit. I'm a capitalist. And I think that when you stand between the rights of the property owner, okay, you are participating in evil. And here's how I get there. What's your number one most important piece of property? It's your human body, okay? Because you can, with your brain, you can come up with ideas, intellectual capital. With your body, you can go out and give lectures, build houses, cook things for compensation, right? There was a group in America that was, there were a few actually, uh, the largest group in America that was deprived of their natural right to their labor, okay, to their property, was, of course, the black slaves from Africa. But we also had the same conditions to a smaller degree occur with Chinese Americans out in California, okay? Uh, Irish indentured servants, all right? So we've seen this appropriation of property in the past with human capital. And now we're being told that our real property it's just another name for real estate, is also uh, not really ours, okay? So um, he wants to do this immediately. Diamond then mentioned that governments, businesses, and non-governmental organizations need to align. Okay, now that is very important. What he's saying, and look, the people he's talking to, they understand exactly what he's saying. What he means by align, what that means is governments need to come out with legislation, Okay, that's what they do. The non-government governmental organizations need to continue to bring governments and you know corporations together, continue to pay people in order to give them positions of power so that they will promote this, 
okay? Like put it all over television, radio, make you feel guilty because you are driving around in a car. Uh, maybe you got an SUV. You're driving around in that. Meanwhile, Jamie Dimon's flying in a G5. He doesn't feel guilty, but the messaging is going to make you feel guilty. And work in these schools to the extent that in 10, 15, 20 years, you will have adults. They will actually be in opposition to their own private property rights. They will stand up and tell you, you've got a little bit of this going on right now. People standing up and saying, oh, I don't want to own a, I don't want to own a home. I don't want to own a home. Tiny house trend, okay? No, you want to own some land where you can grow stuff on, okay? Or lease it out. That's what you want. That's what you want, okay? It might not sound popular. And you might say, Tyrone, I don't need all that land. Yeah, actually, you do. Because you might want your family to be able to come to a place and be uh, sheltered to a larger extent from the calamity that's going on all around us, more so than they would be in the city. Uh, Diamond floated the eminent domain idea as one of the policies that could speed up building green infrastructure. And there are some people out there that are so Pavlovian that all they got to hear is a word like a sound, like green infrastructure, and it'll make them obey whatever command, you know, is given to them. At the same time, telephone, sorry. At the same time, permitting reforms are desperately needed to allow investment to be done in any kind of timely way. That is another area where government comes into play in the permitting process. What you can build and where. What kind of structure you can have and where. We built a structure on our property um, a year ago. And you wouldn't believe all the hoops we had to jump through, okay, in this county. That kind of thing is going to get worse. Uh, Diamond concluded his letter statement on climate change saying, Quote, polarization, paralysis, and basic lack of analysis cannot keep us from addressing one of the most complex challenges of our time. <laughs> Diverse stakeholders need to come together seeking the best answers through engagement around our common interests. You taking my property is not a common interest. When you're talking about common interests, you're going back to the government's corporations and non-governmental organizations, okay? Because that cycle, the corporations get richer, okay? They keep making money, which they can use to donate to the politicians and fund the non-governmental organizations. We are scheduled to lose about 800,000 jobs thanks to automation, robotics, and uh, artificial intelligence. This is by early 20. Uh, 30s. This is globally. Okay. That's when we're scheduled to lose, uh, you know, to have lost that many jobs globally. So again, it makes, to me, it's just no surprise that this would be a plan to acquire more wealth for the three groups mentioned, the insidious they that still want to profit, but push these evil Agendas. Yes, stealing my labor, stealing my land. Yes, that is evil. Now, will the U.S. be able to do stuff like this? Um, and following behind, you know, regimes like the Soviet Union, uh, China, they don't let you own land. Quite probably, uh, because we've got a population that is uh, not clued in. Okay, we've got a population of lemmings out there to a large extent, and they'll probably grow, that population will probably grow, and with it, the chances of all your rights and your liberties being quashed, okay? So, check this video out right here. We just did uh, President Xi. He's making fools of the United States of America, specifically the President, the Secretary of Defense, and the Secretary of State. Can you believe they are calling China, and China has just taken the phone off the hook like that. Yeah, you know, no. And for you young people that don't know what that means, taking the phone off the hook, what that means is you just blocked their numbers, okay? All right, so watch that video, and guys, I'll talk to you soon.